What's up guys? I'm Tyler. I'm Jordan. And we're the George Twins. Welcome back to Squared. So Jordan, what are we doing today? Today, we will be producing light. light. This is what you'll need. First things first when it comes to making light, you need yourself a light bulb. That's the first thing. The multi-tool is unnecessary, but you are going to need a Phillips head screwdriver for the two-prong socket. But let's, let's not get ahead of ourselves. We're not there yet. Thirdly, you need your Tenolic socket with mounting bracket and wire leads. Now, you don't need the mounting bracket and wire leads, but you do need a socket. This is what the light bulb screws into. Here we are. This is the two-prong plug. This is the little outlet thing that you're used to seeing that goes into uh, wall things. Wall things. Scissors, nuts set, and some wire. I just got this from Lowe's. It's awesome, just typical brown wire. All right, let's get started. Warning, if you are a small child under the age of like eh, 12, to you should, 14, yeah, to 14 maybe, just uh, make sure you have a parent with you when you do this because you are messing with electricity. And the last thing we want to happen is for you to get shocked because you watched a DIY video from the George Trends. Step one, wire. Tyler, do you mind grabbing? Thanks, dude. I got you. Thank you. You want to wind your wire out to the desired amount of wire you want. This is the wire that's going to stretch out from the wall socket to your actual light. Korea. What are we doing with this one? We are going to connect the end of this wire into that. <laughs> it seems impossible, but nay, we have much to learn. Alright, so what I'm doing right now is I'm pulling apart this wire because it was connected. What we'll be able to do now is cut it. Jordan, before we get into this, what the heck is going on with your hands right now? Why are they all nasty? Okay, so I didn't get in a fight. I, I sort of did. It was with a punching bag. And I went to Title Boxing, which is here in Franklin, and I was punching the bag wrong. And so I punched the bag so hard, I punched the skin off my knuckles, which is not what you're supposed to do, sadly. So I have scabs now on my hands. So don't freak out, because it's natural. This is the really tricky part. You have to cut the outside wire without cutting the inside wire, which is really difficult. And this is probably the hardest part about the whole, the whole project. So when you're done with cutting the wire, it should look like this. Two exposed wires. Yes, that's the difficult part. I'm actually gonna get Ty to do this second part. What do I do? I need you to take the two-prong plug. Taking the two-prong plug. Take the multi-tool. Taking the multi-tool. Yeah. Again, yeah. you're gonna you grab this. The two-prong plug. Got it. You gotta set the thing on the right now. Okay, got it. See the little screws on the top of that? Uh-huh. I need you to unscrew them. Okay. Get ready, guys. I'm gonna do this real fast. Man, Ty, I didn't know you were so good at unscrewing screws. All right, take the two-prong plug. Two-prong plug. Now pull the plug. Pull the plug. <laughs> pull the plug. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> now you have two screws exposed right there. Unscrew both of those screws uh, about halfway. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take those two exposed wires and wrap them around the screws. Thread the wire through, uh, and then wrap it around. And then you screw that, that screw right down onto the copper. So that's what it's gonna look like in the end after you attach the copper to and around the screws. 
All right, so go ahead and grab that. I got it. Then you're gonna stick this that one. on. Other way. This one. Yep, that way. Okay. Stick it through. I took the liberty of doing uh, what we did over here on the opposite end with the exposed wire. Exactly. Woo! Now he's gonna... Yeah. <laughs> now he's dropping that all the way down, and so that will put the plug back on the plug. Now you're gonna screw those screws back in. After some trial and error, Tyler again succeeds. Now we have this done, that goes, plugs into a wall. Now we gotta work with the other end of exposed wire. Which I'm guessing we need the socket! How smart of you, Tyler! Thanks. You're exactly right. Pull those, the white and the black off to expose the, both of those wires. Oh, wow. So now you have two, no, four exposed wires. Guess what we're gonna do with them? Attach the wires to make two exposed wires. Exactly! To keep the wires safe and to keep myself and others from being electrocuted, I'm gonna use some electrical tape to tape the ends and then tape them together so that it's a little bit more cohesive and I can work with the wire a little bit. Before we make some light, uh, we wanna know do you guys have any crazy stories with electricity? And if you do, please comment those below. We'd love to hear them and check them out and maybe laugh or cry with you. <laughs> yes. Lastly, the light bulb. So this light bulb is special because it's from Montreal. We're gonna take this vintage looking light bulby thingy and we're gonna put it in the socket. And now I'm gonna take the prong and we're gonna plug in the wall. Should we turn the lights off? Yeah. We did it, Jordan! Or more like you did it, but we did it! Yeah! Thank you guys for tuning in and watching this video. Um, we successfully made light. We made we would love for you to subscribe and give this video a like. Um, please also check out all the other cool twins on Squared. Um, I'll put a link right here for you to check them out. Have an awesome day. Oh, I have an idea. What is that, Jordan? Oh, it's a light. <laughs> <laughs> See you guys.